Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. And I'm Dan. We're at the Board Game Rundown. Today we got a, a little bit of news, maybe? Good a little bit. bit. Just a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Not a much bit. has happened. Uh, uh, and then we got some Kickstarters. As always. As always. Then we got a top five that I think you'll find interesting. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah. Cross contamination of. Uh, yeah. We're going to go cross platform. Yeah. Yeah. Cross platform. Yeah. Nice. I like that. So right. uh, normally we but like to start with what we played. Games we have played. Well, usually yeah. we like to skip that and then remind him that we Right. Played. As I was right. trying to get ahead of I was. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I was aware of this time. Okay. But no, that's great. What oh. are some games we played? I'm light on this. I've got a few. Really? Yeah. I've got quite a few. Good. Uh, you should start then, and you should probably say a couple. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, I'll skip ones that we may have played together okay. to start with to give you the opportunity to or remember I guess I've got that one. we played we some played games. We something last week, Bob. We did. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was wow. such a good game. So rememberable, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so rememberable? So rememberable. <laughs> Just making sure. Yes. Uh, we pull, I played, I'll do an easy one. Welcome to Las Vegas. Oh, know, okay. One of your guys' favorites, Flippin' Rights. But we love them. Yeah, yeah, have played that one yet. I haven't played it. I, I have it with me every week, but they never... Yeah, see, the problem is he doesn't have consent. anything else with him every week, which is what we want. I limit your options and then they attempt yeah. to let you pick That's this right. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good move. Yeah. Doesn't work, though. Okay. <laughs> Tim? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tim, I, uh, I got to play Campaign Manager again. Oh, nice. I played it with Jeff, okay. and I lost again in the last minute. Jeff took a state change you, narrative. You won, didn't you? Oh, barely one. Game like, seems unbalanced. No, no, no. <laughs> it came down to the very end, yeah. and it's like just the right card at the right time. Mm -hmm. Right. But I forgot you guys were gonna do that. That's cool. Yeah, we played we played campaign manager, and oh, that game is really good. We'll take we'll, we'll get it played. It sounds good. I just wish yeah. it was that same basic idea, but in a theme I cared about. Yeah, yeah it's, no, it's, you should care about politics. You should, but anyways, cool. anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go. I'm, too I'm just gonna say there it. are people who don't agree with you that do care a lot about politics, <laughs> and they're voting. Yes. Uh -huh. so. We're going to carry mm. on, though. <laughs> so, yes, campaign manager. It is specifically the uh, the 08 Correct. Obama McCain uh, campaign. It's great. It's really good. All right. Dan, All right, Dan. you play? I think I only have one, Bob, so yeah. do you just want me to say it now? Sure, go ahead. Sure. So I played, I remember, because you said it, uh, Loot of Lima? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you played that. All yes. right. Okay. It was really good. Yeah, I really want to play that. Literally we, we at it the up. end of it, <laughs> yeah. all of us were like, I don't know if any of us played correctly. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's a right. complicated It was very game. interesting. Yeah, it's going to take a couple playthroughs to get all the kinks Was that your out. first time playing it? That was my first time playing okay, it. Right. We didn't make we one key it. mistake at the beginning. Where, um, because when you're playing with a limited player count, you have to pass a token. Okay. And we used a substitute red token to dictate that we knew that information on our own board. But what we should have done is used that player token, right? Once you gave that red token to the other player, use one of their player tokens to mark that they have that oh, I one. See. Sure. And so we were giving duplicate information to people, and it was just throwing it. Oh, out. gotcha. Yeah. 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 It's basically like a really deep, way more thinky clue. Right. Like um, a roll and write clue, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Roll and write clue. I mean, mm -hmm. really though. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have the writing, and so yeah, Clue is a rolling right. Like it has kind of, yeah. It, if you yeah. think about it, so, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you're uh, you're using cardinal directions to figure out where the treasure is, and everyone has certain clues mm -hmm. that they know. Sorry, that they know. Like, okay, I know the treasure's not in A three, so Bob might be like, uh, Dan, could the treasure be on any mountains between west and south? And I have to give how many positions I know of in that area and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you're, you know, yep. dwindling. And you're you're cross hatching all that information and trying right. to figure yeah. out who. So it's yeah, just like this a, game sounds really neat. Yeah, yeah it, it sounds it really neat. Seriously, is yeah. like Clue, but much more thinky and with <laughs> a way more interesting theme. This I, sounds I like a roll and write that I would like. Yeah, be yeah really that's excited. The thing. It's a roll and write. Really, really at the end of the day, did not feel like one at all. It was a deduction game. Yeah, so I liked it a lot. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. All right. All right. Glad you like it. Um, what else you got? Well, I played another game with Dan that he has so quickly forgotten, even though it's by one of his favorite game producers, Euphoria. Oh, oh my God. We played <laughs> Euphoria. Yeah. I forgot. I, what did you think of Euphoria? So I love thing. Euphoria. Here's my Don't thing. Yeah. break my It should have made my top five game component list. Like Pompeii made it on there because I really like the volcano. It should have just been an honorable mention. Euphoria has such Man. nice game components. The board is totally beautiful. I forgot about Euphoria. So here's why mm -hmm. I forgot about Euphoria. I was a little upset <laughs> at the end of that game because I, listen, I'm just going to say it. I don't care if you're watching, and I know that Bob was playing. He's sitting right here. I easily played the best out of everyone. I demolished that game. I made every right decision. I killed it. And just because of some bad luck, someone who wasn't even sure what the rules of the game were won in the end. And I was very upset at this of like sitting there and like just being like, I, I couldn't win because of the luck of a flip that happened. And I was stuck for like three turns because of this. 
meanwhile, people are just passing me. I still, I lost by one star. I was still close in second. Mm -hmm. But I was upset. I'm genuinely, I think the game is a little bit too much randomness after playing that one time. I don't know ever. I I don't, I need to play it again. I don't remember that. Basically, I get it. It's super situational, blah, blah, blah. But it was just a mixture of, obviously, there's randomness in the cards you get, which is just every game. But then the, the basic thing was that I had a strategy lined out. And I was putting it into play, and I literally could have won in like three turns. And then a building flipped that I had no chance of helping build because uh, of the turns before me. Everybody took I, a one yeah, before you. Couldn't have even Less kind tried. Of, uh, exactly. Mm-hmm. I, I just didn't even have a chance to try. Once the first I was put on that building, <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Okay, well, that building's gone. And it literally locked me out of an entire fourth of the map. And I couldn't go to that fourth of the map, and I couldn't get on that building. And I had to spend so many turns trying to get, to get on that, that building. Get that star on there. And I, I, I just that that one building flipped. Yeah, because it blocked the whole cost, Icarus. It blocked from the you. entire Icarus from me, which yep. I was building off of. Right. Um, sure. And so at the end I of that see. game, I literally I didn't realize sat back. It crippled you so bad. Oh man, I couldn't even d- d- explain how much it hurt me because <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't being open He's about like, my strategy. Blocked it from right? your memory. It was such a bad. No, seriously, I enjoyed the game a lot until I just saw this come out where it was just like, oh, you're doing really well, Dan. You're by far in the lead. I'm gonna flip this one tile <laughs> that literally makes it impossible for you to win. Oh, no, that seems fair to me. Okay, yeah, yeah no, I get it. But so yeah, I totally forgot to play that. Other than that, though, like I would play it again. I liked it a lot. Like yeah. until that point, I, I, we were laughing the whole time. The theme is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I um, love Euphoria yeah. so, so much. Uh, yeah, love so I want to so play much. it again and just see if I feel that randomness again or if I just got really unlucky. unlucky. I, think you, I think you got really unlucky. Yeah. That does I happen do. a little bit. And that you, the fact that you were trying to build off that and then that one building yeah. screwed you up, I yeah. think it was just kind of a luck of the draw yeah. thing. I get it. I get yeah. it. It happens. It's a good game, though. I was still it's pissed. very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any more? Uh, I got one, kind of, I guess two, really, but they were both Same online. One. So TTS, okay. like on TTS, I did play another Deck of Wonders because you still have... Yes, the physical copy. The physical copy. Mm-hmm. So I just was kind of goofing around with it and uh, getting a little more fluid. Now that that Kickstarter is live and funded, we'll oh, probably talk about it in yeah. a minute. So quickly funded. Good job, Dennis. Yes. Congratulations to them. Also, though, we played, uh, got together with some friends virtually last night that we normally go to comic book conventions with. Mm-hmm. We normally like drink oh, yeah. and hang out and play games. So uh, we actually, my first experience with uh, Jackbox games. Okay. So we played a Which bunch one? of Jackbox games. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, a I bunch just meant of them. Which pack? There's like Jackbox one, two, three. You don't uh, know. like three or four. Okay. Maybe three and four. Okay. We played a bunch of different games. Okay. Civic Doodle. Um, okay, the one with Civic. Doodle. Break the internet. Yeah. Uh, things like that. Mm-hmm. I'm terrible at drawing. These games were hilarious, and we were just cackling with. They're amazing. And I'm going to tell you right now too. The one with Civic Doodle and uh, whatever the uh-huh. other ones you said was that is one of the worst packs. And I'm not saying it's bad. You oh, obviously sure. have fun. I'm just saying that they get better. Like sure. the, Jackbox, the Jackbox games are such a great well, mixture. Well, I, I used things. to play a lot of You Don't Know Jack like, yeah, way exactly. back in the day. Sure. Yeah. So I always get excited when I hear Cookie's voice again. I'm like, yay. Sure. But uh, yeah, no, we had a great time. Jackbox games, I strongly recommend if that is your thing. 100%. Yeah. Just you just need, everyone needs phones. You need one person who has the game on a system and everyone plays and yes. it's fantastic. Yes. Just Great party games. Fun. That's what we always do when we're having like a game night at my house and then like we're playing games and then more people wind up showing up that we can't support. It's like, okay, let's go upstairs and hit up Jackbox because it's that same just chaotic party feeling. Sure. Right? Hey, um, Bob. Yeah, I played. Uh, Finish this off. I played some Evil High Priest. Yes. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I uh, still good. Still like it. Still good. I still like it. Did you play the Cthulhu board or did you play? We played any the Cthulhu because it was two new people, right? And it was late, so I wanted to play something I was somewhat familiar with. Sure. Um, but yeah, we played through that. I didn't win. I lost by like four points. <sighs> Um, to Tim. Tim That's loved close, it. I knew though. other Tim would love it. Like right. you mentioned buckets of blood. He's like, you had me at buckets of blood. Right. <laughs> yeah. And um but no, that was it was a lot of fun. Uh and then yesterday I took the rule book with me and read through it. Because once I played it once or twice, I like to reread the rule book right. and just share everything. Tone in, right. Found a little mistake that we were making. Everybody was making the same mistakes. We right. Played by I the think same it, rules. When you when everybody's playing by the same rules, it's still technically w- whatever ish. Y- you know. It yeah. does, yeah, sure. It does make that it, it draws out though that problem of not problem. We like it where it's everything's clearly overpowered. You know? Yeah. When you when you can do it over and over and over again, that does stack though. And okay, your yeah, power right. being used over and over again is clearly better than my, my power, power being, being used, used over and over right. again. So, but, but yeah. Yep. So there was that. No, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, that's that was, an excellent. That was game. a good time. Um, my friend Brandon came over and he likes games that are more story driven. Okay. We played Above and Below. Oh, oh, I love re- Above and, and Below. And he really liked it. That's Man, the first one, right? That's the yeah. first one, yeah. Okay. I didn't back Ryan the second Lockett. one because I didn't get to the table very often. But I think right. now that he found out he likes this, when he comes over, he's going to request it. And I've heard that Near and Far is better, better in pretty much every way. That's okay. what I've heard. 
Um, I don't know. I might look yeah, I that. haven't played it, but okay. I really do love Above and Below. Yeah, it's, sure. it's, it's a little short. Things. I wish you know it was a few more rounds. Every time you start building things up and getting, oh, yeah. you know, a cast of But villagers. I think that's also like a good thing too, right? They do right. it on purpose. It's yeah. that right. cliffhanger mentality. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, now we got to play it again because yeah. I want to do more things. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, nope, that's awesome. Yep. Uh, played a game of Rummy Cube, a couple of games of that. Hey. Yeah. Um, my fiance's uh, parents and grandparents like really okay. love that game, so there we went go. up there to see the new baby and played some of that. That's so. weird that her grandparents had a new baby. I know, right? <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, you can get That's them at the supermarket now. I think. Yeah, they're cheap. Right on. <laughs> less, less funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that was all for the game. Right on. Played. Going yep. out with Rummy Cube and Going babies. Out with Rummy Cube and babies. Yep. All right. So news. What do you got for news this week? Um, yeah, I got a little bit of news. Um, you guys aren't big enough war gaming, but. Yeah. Uh, Nightingale Games, that's um, the guy who did Axis and Allies in War Room. Oh, right on. Um, While you're talking about this. Yep. They, they announced um, War Room Online. Oh. They've got three different versions working right now. So there's two of them on Tabletop Simulator, and there's one on Tabletopia. Nice. Um, and it, they're both like free to play as long as you have like oh. access to okay. the system and whatnot. Um, and they, there's uh, basically just people who are working on the Tabletop Simulator ones, and okay. then the Nightingale Games is the one working on the Tabletopia version. Sure. Um, they also announced they're going to have some copies because I know the game is kind of hard to find. Right. Um, but if you like war games, uh, war games, uh, they'll have Denton Ding copies for two hundred bucks, and then they're going to have um, the good copies for two hundred and forty. Oh, okay. okay. Right on. So, and they're going to have they have a few signature editions left, but they wanted to send those out for charities and things. Sure. And do like raffles Righteous. and things like oh, that. Oh, that's a good way to be. Um, but yes, but you have to go to their, um, the Shopify store okay. that they have, and that you can find them on there. Right um, on. But yeah, it's a really good game. It takes a while to play, and there's a lot going on. But but you know what so though, good. if that so is like depth. if that's your alley though, yep. I mean that is it's going to knock it out of the park. Yep. That's kind of like Cthulhu Wars for me, right? Yeah. Like just the kind of game that I like, anyways. Mm-hmm. And then you add all that extra stuff. Yeah, it's more expensive than most. Yeah. But man, like it just hits that sweet spot, and it feels so good to get it played. Yeah, so uh, he refers to it as his opus. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah he should. <laughs> yeah, he should. Yeah, that really game well look. Done. I need to play it, mm-hmm. like, because it looks amazing. You need to live it. Yes, yeah, right. live, live it. it. That's um, it. Well, you reminded me. I'll bring up a little thing in news. Then you okay. reminded me by saying that we have a friend who has been playing this a lot lately. A root has gone online. Oh, as okay. Well oh, yeah. On Steam, and this is like not. This is cool. Like, I was expecting, you know, Lords of Waterdeep is on Steam, right? Right. And it's just a 2D thing, and you have move your pieces. Click, click, click. Right. And uh, this root thing is all out. We're like 3D graphics stuff, still with the same graphical style, but like okay. 3D graphics of the people moving around when you move them, and like when they fight, it's like that like that side, animation. like JRPG yeah. side, like fighting thing. That's kind cool. Of thing. And like, I was yeah. like, this looks awesome. I wanted nice. to come to iOS just because it's, I can be lazier yeah, and sure. play root it probably and not will have eventually. to like crack open it's just a because laptop it's an, and play It's an early access right now on Steam. Right. So mm. uh, when it comes but out, though, man, I would is it be, tempting? Is I would it, be so amazed if it didn't come to iOS. It's after that. so tempting to just try to play, like yeah, just no. buy it on on Steam, anyways. Yeah, it, it looks I, great. I checked it out just because he had been playing it so much. I was like, oh, Root's finally. Oh my god, they they're going <laughs> yeah. hard. Yeah. It's yeah. not like, it's is, not like tabletop simulator yeah. where you like click and drag and move your nice little thing. Like no, it does all the stuff. That's cool. Yeah, it looks it looks really good. It's really good. All right, guys. Uh, I guess we'll slide into Kickstarters then. Sure. Sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there. Hold on. Got to get to the right page. Calm, Calm down. down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stupid bookmark is always in the way. And then, oh, boy. Hold on. It's a... Okay, what are we doing? Kickstarters. All right, Kickstarters. <laughs> Again, there's just... Uh, when this comes out, it might actually just have ended, but uh, Redline, yeah. tactical card game. Oh, yeah. They are like 70% so, they're funded. So they're close, super man. close. Yeah. And it's like, what, like just for only you. a couple thousand dollars. Like, yeah. they're not. So, 70% is kind of a misnomer, right? Because it's not really that much. Right. Oh, it's sure. a smaller sum of money. Correct. Yeah. Correct. But, uh, Redline, I'm pulling for it. I backed it. Fingers crossed, because I think we will have a good time playing that sure, game. Sure, like three dollars is seventy five percent of four dollars, right? Yeah, <laughs> <So>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, Redline, just please check it out. A tactical card game, right. fight and mechs. Yeah, simultaneous action selection yeah. it strategy. Looks, it looks so good. It yeah, looks so good. Looks like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, what you got there, Dan? Uh, me next. Sure. We'll go yeah. clockwise. Um, so I'm hoping you guys talk a little bit more about this because uh, alcoholics. But uh, the what? Belgian beers race. You guys see this thing? Nope. Nope. This was funny. <laughs> but now I'm thirsty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Th- this was funny to me. So by BYR Games. Why? Wow. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, two to four players. Uh-huh. There's 18 days left. It's funded. Sweet. It's good. Uh, uh, 
uh, $60 to $78 for the deluxe edition. Little, okay. little up there, just some nicer pieces, I guess. In February of next year, right? Oh, right That's on. what they're pushing for. It'll probably be a couple months after that. Right. Um, okay, so you are competitive game, and you are going through the three-day festival and visiting as many breweries as you can, okay, and drinking as much different beer as you can, and trying out all these places. Sounds right? like a blast. Yeah. Um, so, but you don't want to be too. So you the don't. player board looks incredible okay. because, like, so there's all these different tracks you have, Jason. So tracks. many tracks. So many tracks. <laughs> so many tracks. Like one of them's a big bottle, and that's like how drunk you are. And if you get too drunk, you might wake up late the next day in the next round, oh, or you might have funny. a hangover that affects yeah. like how, how like it how caps you play. how much you can drink yeah, or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That's funny. Um, and uh, so at certain breweries on along the board, you can pick pick up cheese, which you can eat, which helps lower your alcohol content and ah. stuff like that. Um, and Does that so. Work? Basically, I mean, wine and cheese. Hey, listen, I guess. board games don't lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> right. um, so every action action costs time. This is one of those right. time games where okay. it's like, I'm going to go to this place, which takes me more time. So you guys are going to go multiple times before I even get to go again. Sure. You right. know, that kind right. of thing. I like it. Um, there is, uh, oh, so that's what it is, by the way. The beer bottle that is how drunk you are is a, a breathalyzer track that you have to keep an eye on. So that, nice. that's what that is. That's good. But um, yeah, so it's just this game, this awesome looking thing. The biggest thing for me was just the player boards. There's so much stuff on there yeah. of information you're tracking. You have like one of those grids, you know, that is like your backpack okay. and the different beers you're drinking are different colors and you're filling your backpack with them. So when you're out camping, you can also drink and, and mm-hmm. up your up your things to certain like your tracks to certain things you want. If you can't make it to a brewery, you can be like, I got some of my backpack. You know, wow. I can do that. I, it, the theme is just pouring out of this. Yeah, thing. that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> I, hey, I said it on purpose. You have to, you <laughs> so have you can do, do the trick. Okay. Uh, I wanted Bob to know though. Wait, the, uh, I missed the double. Yeah. Double meeting but yeah, here. check out the Belgian <laughs> beers race. I thought that that, that sounds great. Yeah, it looks that really, really sounds cool. great. Yeah. All right. Um, I got dining with Dracula. I got that one too. All Go right. for it. All right. Go for uh, it. So yeah. yeah, worker placement, uh, uh, time management. Yes. Like you're saying things okay. you do take so much time. Too fat to fly. Too games. fat to fly. That's games. becoming a real thing. Lately. Yeah, uh, Australia was like that too. Remember, that's like yeah, you would do certain things. Yeah. You would move your time. Love it. Yeah, that's a good. I like that. Australia, so good. Um, two to four players, thirty to ninety minutes. Um, uh, yeah, so you're working to try to uh, compete with other people to inherit Dracula's. You're empire. all descendants of Dracula. Correct. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so you're courting him. You're trying yep. to like make it to the make dinner table nice. with him. Become Correct. the favorite child right. kind to of earn yes. yeah. to get in the will, basically. And yeah. then you can play mm-hmm. things to make him mad and okay. you know, th- okay. you know, things to suck yeah. up to him. It's interesting. It's like though. that knives out kind of Yeah, thing. kind of like, I want I want to be the one in the will. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. right. It looks fun though. The art is kind of cartoony and says, stylized, yeah, kind but of like fun. Looks like a lot <laughs> but of fun. fun. But, but fun. fun. Always good. <laughs> yeah. You know, boring. I just want to yeah. put down on any game I ever make in the future, which will be zero. It's like that, um, but fun. It's, it's like, oh, it's a worker placement cooperative blah, blah game, but fun. But <laughs> fun. <laughs> well, it's like game. smartphone. You wouldn't think it's, oh, you're like running a smartphone company, <laughs> but fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you get rich, that could be fun. That I could be it. fun. All right. Uh, my last one. Antimatter. Have you oh, seen gosh, Antimatter? I've seen a lot uh-huh. on Antimatter. Antimatter. So anti. Not like antimatter, but okay. anti like poker bet, oh. antimatter. And so you're basically like uh, you're part of this crew, and you're trying to earn this big stack of chips. So you get invited okay. to sit with the uh, the big wigs up in the corner booth, okay, and like earn the respect, right, and get brought in. But there's uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can gain loot. Okay. You know, like you can you can raid stuff, and then there's uh, there there's like a poker aspect to the game as well. So it plays, and then you've got abilities and other cards that will boost your card. So if you've got like a crap hand, Mm -hmm. you can boost your hand by using your abilities. Um, There are cards that give you, I forget what they were called now, but they give you like an extra thing. But if you get caught in a showdown, you automatically lose. So you've got a bluff Right. To blave, <laughs> you have to bluff yeah. to to not get caught with those cards, right. but you can use them, you know, to get other things. That's funny. I don't know. It just looks really neat. It looks really cool. Uh, Antimatter is uh, sixty dollars. Mm-hmm. There is a there's like one early bird premium left. The premium was like a hundred or hundred and twenty if you're not that. But the premium has got like foil overlay, not just on like the box, but like cards on the board design. and the cards, like mm-hmm. all kinds of really cool stuff. The components and the colors and everything in this game looks mm. so good. Yeah, nice. it's a good box. <laughs> nice box. It looks really neat. So antimatter, there's like there's gonna be like twenty ish days left on this uh, when it goes or when this when pops this up. up. So yes, and then dining with Dracula is fifty nine dollars. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to write that part down. And there's just I one pledge. I love it. Oh yeah, nice. so it's, it's simple. super simple. Oh, yeah. there's a sixty dollar retailer pledge. Well, that doesn't count. Doesn't I count. I always skip those. So right. I'm, I'm no, I'm not it's a great. retailer. 
No, but it's good. I like if you don't want to order it and you think your game store will, man, yeah. hit them up. Get on it. Be like, I will definitely buy one from you if you retail pledge. Yep. And then lie. I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> what a bad person. Yeah, don't take <laughs> advice from Dan. Don't. Never do. Advice from Dan. <laughs> ignore. Ding. Uh, so ignore. there is no way. Guys, <laughs> there is no way you guys don't have this. Uh, one of you. Okay. okay. One of you has Galaxy Hunters. Yeah, sorry. It's, you I'm sorry. It's I I couldn't not do we, it. We totally wiped you out. Yeah. Yeah, between the two of you. I even backed that one already. I was so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you go clockwise. <laughs> so Bob, what's your next one? Galaxy you Hunters. You can talk about this one. Thanks. I'm a nice uh, guy. Okay. So yeah, there's about two weeks left on it, but it's only about fifty percent funded right now. Okay. So it still needs a little bit of work. I'm surprised you there. brought up a unfunded, unfunded game. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah me too. I thought funded. I was getting hey. in on that. It's fifty six percent funded. Oh, well, you must have just checked it. <laughs> but maybe it was, that was my pledge added in there because <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that was fifty cent before I put backed it. Uh, Seventy nine to ninety nine with the ninety nine uh, version, you get the expansion with different ways oh. to hunt. But basically, you're you're picking a merc, right? And your merc has its own little uh, cardboard uh, area, and then you're picking a mech, uh-huh. and, and then you're, you're uh, Pilot has different abilities on the side. Your mech's got abilities on the side, and then how they mesh up okay. like gives you different abilities, too. And then you buy upgrades, and they go around your mech and around your pilot, up, uh, and then you go to different planets, and you fight. Um, you're looking for alien DNA. Right? Okay. So you're trying to hunt down all these different types of DNA. Um, and uh, what else do I have? Uh, yeah, Kill Mutants. Uh, five, the expansion adds a fifth player. Oh, right on. Um, but it, looks, it just looks really neat the way you can buy your personalized... Um, Merc, and then you get your mech. It's yeah, like, two or like, 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 like Small World esque, where they fit um, together. Yeah, I haven't played Small World, but sure. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's like they're like different hexagon shaped things, right? Sure. And they mesh together. Nice. Yeah, I so like it. It, it. It looks super neat. So uh, I was excited about it. big minis for the mechs. Oh cool. yeah, and they just keep getting bigger as the thing is backed. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so it, it's by it's IDW me. Games who made yep. the Batman and Ninja Turtles games, right? Yep. Which are oh yeah, highly regarded. I've got the uh, mm-hmm. so. Shadows of the Past Ninja Turtles game. Need to play it. I have the Batman game. But uh, oh you oh is the monolith. Oh, no. You got uh, the monolith one. Yes, I did. Uh, so this, also, mm-hmm. that expansion is one of the craziest expansions I've ever seen. Yeah. It adds so much. I, I, I yeah, with You have to. Yeah. You look at that, it's the amount of things it changes and adds to the game. I was looking There's at like, so oh, much. my God. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It adds a whole nother board, too, that mm-hmm. goes onto the back of them. So then you have pilot mech and like mech upgrade thing or something that also right. goes Right, it's like an extra bag. upgradable part of your suit. Uh, by the way, I actually... Took a screen and I full screened and took a screenshot of what your fully built mech looks like that we can overlay right here somewhere. Uh, I'll send it to you. <laughs> but uh, uh, because like, look how awesome the look how awesome that looks. There's the pilot and the mech, and then there's upgrade all around it, and then the two pieces of electricity on the mech link to the, to where the, pl- the abilities pilot abilities are. are. On the pilot. So yeah. depending on the mech you pick, you'll activate certain abilities. That on sounds your amazing. Mech. It's it, very cool. It, Holy yeah. cow! Yeah. yeah. I'm for a hundred bucks, you yeah. get everything. You get all that for a hundred so bucks. So oh. that I know. It's not even. It's not <laughs> oh, even like, that hurts. I know. It's not even like a player board, but uh-huh. it's one of the, my favorite player boards I've ever seen. Yeah. When you get your mech put together and all the upgrade things, it builds. Gosh, this beautiful that sounds really thing. cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just uh, super neat. Awesome looking game. Yeah. Galaxy Hunters. Galaxy, Galaxy Hunters. Hunters. Check it out. <laughs> and now that can't win. This super awesome game. Yeah. Thanks, gotta, Dan. <laughs> anytime. I mean, yeah, did you really think just no one another... else to talk about that game? Yes, because it's still it was not funded. Yeah. It's like more than two weeks out. And I thought Tim you might because he, he might have seen me back power. it, so he might have. Like, I did said something. see you back it, but I hadn't looked yeah. at it yet because uh, I usually do go and look. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But even with, aside from this, oh, right? Like, oh, what's Bob looking at? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I got one last one then, yeah. which we just should mention because we talk about them all the of time. Course. We absolutely love it, right? Deck of Wonders. Deck of Wonders. Yeah. Deck of Wonders. I'm so happy it funded in the first 48 I hours. Was, I was so happy. I was following it on the yeah on the, the on the Discord. The and people stuff. behind that game and the group uh, of the of people that are into it and talking about it on like Discord and everything. It's so awesome. I love it. It's just a not only an awesome environment, but it's a super cool game, and I'm really glad that it funded. So hopefully they keep going and hit a bunch more stretch goals and stuff. Yeah. So Deck of Wonders, it's like 35 bucks. Yeah. That's cheap. And it's a lot of game. 35 for the base pledge, and he, they're they're going to be releasing the new art stuff soon. Yes. And everything they've been teasing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and the so – cool. Yes. Legacy. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yep. Have you done any of the Legacy stuff yet? Uh, I've barely gotten into it. I did start it, but okay. I, I honestly, I just – it's like – I kind of want it to be new to me later. Oh, you know sure. What I'm saying? Saving so yourself. Like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, 
<laughs> I get it. I get it. But I have yeah. one little bit more Kickstarter. Yeah, throw news. it in there. Uh, next year, 2021, they are talking about doing another War Room Kickstarter. Oh, there so you go. So they might do some signature editions and stuff oh, like got that. It. But if you want to wait, um, they did talk about Did you about get a signature that. edition? I did. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's With like the jumbo thing. Yeah. Yeah. The things, like I have a huge table at home. It, it's bigger than my table at That's home. That's amazing. Yeah. I have to like get all my coffee tables out for like the battle things and everything else, but it's, I love it's it. an event. Table hog. Yeah. yeah my brother finish. played he with did. Bob and he has been Non-stop salivating about, it. <laughs> about wanting to play again. Nice. Yes. I have not played it yet. Mm-hmm. Nice. All Good right. Time. All right. Well, is that it then? We yeah, already yeah, yeah. get into our top. I don't have anyone else. Top, to top five. Yeah. yeah. He's already looked through all my notes. Top so. five. <laughs> yeah. You still haven't found that camera. I this, see. Yeah. this was specifically requested by our editor. Sorry. Yep. Uh, so we're we, ready to disappoint. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was yeah. his idea. So we are going to do top five video games that would make good board games, or mm-hmm. that you want to see that we want to see as a board game. As yes. board games. And trust me, I did the research. This is different than our IPs that should be board games. Yeah, because I took a lot of books. You, you took, took a lot of books. I, and I, I took. We took a lot of movies. That we, we did. Yes. Too. Multiplicity. I think last time it's I, the best one, I had, I don't remember if you also had, but I had one video game last time, and it does make a... Me- a mention on this list as well. Sure. I don't oh, know okay. if you mentioned more than one last time. I doubt I don't it. remember. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Good, <laughs> the good old days. Yeah, right? <laughs> so uh, so who wants to go with the first? Bob. Yeah, let's okay. me go first. That way nobody can spoil any of mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be surprised. I'm expecting. Okay. I would be surprised. I'm expecting there might be one very crossover. little crossover. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I think we one. all come from different be- sort of backgrounds. Yeah, with yeah. This. I come from like a good background. Yeah, different background. Oh, so <laughs> uh, number five, Final Fantasy. Okay, that okay. makes sense. Yeah, I, uh, Gloomhaven style, right? That's my number four. Story driven, oh, okay. but uh, I can I'll character add, development, yeah. things like that. I think that would be super cool. Sure, I think a lot of these are going to end. I up got being, a good one then. I got a replacement. I think a lot of these are going to end up being some kind of campaign driven thing. Well, yes, so here's the thing of, with Final Fantasy. Yeah, I can't believe it has not been a, done already. Done already. Yeah, and you could pick. I don't care. Pick there's, any iteration. There's so right? many good ones. You could do one, two, or th- you know. One, two, and three, and then there's seven. Seven, seven is yeah, a you right talk amazing. About seven, seven. Yeah. 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 eight's not bad. Eight's sure, not bad I'm either. just saying that seven is. I mean, like, seven correct. is seven, <laughs> right? And I think that could make a, a decent exploratory. You know, are w- any of them? Gloomhaven. I yeah. would do any pretty of much them. any of them. Any of them would be yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, that art style would be really cool in a Gloomhaven. Style. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, I agree. Seven rock. All right, so that's my number five, Tim. That's great. All right, my number five. I'm going back to Nintendo. Ooh. Maniac Mansion. Do you remember Maniac Mansion? <laughs> no. Okay, so I guess Mad <laughs> Andrew Scientist. Andrew is so excited. <laughs> right? It's a good one, right? Yeah. So Maniac Mansion, it's like this mad scientist is, has ki- kidnapped one of your friends. Okay. And so you've got like multiple characters that you're switching between to go through and sort of like solve the rooms. Okay. And um, yeah, like do like different goofy things. It's very tongue in cheek. And actually like the PC version is darker than the Nintendo release. Mm-hmm. But they... Uh, yeah, it's really campy, kind of like sci-fi horror. Okay, and you could do it as a co-op. You could do it as a one v many. I don't. I don't. A couple different ways to do it. A couple different ways to do it. It's an iconic game from like the '80s on for Nintendo specifically. Maniac okay. Mansion. Okay. Um. So three of these five are like in my top four games of all time. So that's part of why they're on this list. Sniper right? Elite. Right. <laughs> Uh, no, so my first one, I this is probably the hardest one to figure out how this would work because of the basic mechanics of the video game. The beauty but, is you don't have to. Correct. <laughs> I try, though. Use your imagination. So, Portal. Um, oh, okay. There is a Portal, portal, portal board There's game. a Portal board game. I own it. It is not Portal at all. Okay. It has nothing to do with the, like, they you're literally playing slap. as the stick figure guys, and you're running down hallways that are moving to collect cake. It has nothing to do, and at the the end of the hallways, there's two portals that can connect the hallways again. I'm telling you, it has nothing to do with what portal the game should be. Sorry, I (laughs) struck a nerve on that one. (laughs) There is not portal. Because I was going to bring this up, and it's yeah, it's portal the uncooperative cake eating game or something is what it's called. Got you. Um, and no, portal the game. uh, It needs to be like a two-player cooperative game where you're the orange portals and I'm the blue portals, and we are doing like puzzle solving, almost like escape room things. Okay. And we have to place our portals in the right position. To, to connect the to work. materials and right. yeah, like that's that's what I want is an actual like thinky escape room almost, but like campaignish, you know, where you're I guess it's a scenario, a story. I yeah, guess sure. like scenario driven, right. where you're working together to solve these very difficult puzzles, and there's buttons you have to press with certain shapes, and there's the you know different materials yeah. can't have portals sure. put on them and okay. stuff, and yeah, I'm telling you, I it would be so cool to see an actual portal game. Yeah. I I want it so bad. Right okay. on. All right, Bob. Yeah. So number four, Final Fantasy Tactics. 
I yes. swear they're not all Final <laughs> Fantasy based. <This> is <laughs> but Final Fantasy Tactics. Right? I have that on my uh, iPad. Yeah. I, I still have my original PlayStation disc. I've right. got the Prima strategy guide like for a, Final a point Fantasy point buy Tactics. type system where there's different armies. You can buy them. You do skirmishes. I love Final Fantasy yeah. Tactics. But I also, my favorite thing of Tactics is I want ways to upgrade and modify your characters, like with the yeah. skill sets, sure. right? Like yeah, old yeah. school. Right. Um, I was thinking, like, so there's a game called um, The Edge. Okay. Where uh, there's the different factions and you have a deck of cards and you use those things. Um, oh, sure. And you could do something like that, except then you have upgrade cards, right? right. So as you win so many or lose so many, you can add grades or swap nice. cards out like to make it. upgraded versions of it. Sure. Yeah. Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. All right. I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right. Well, I'm going to go with a uh, with one that I crossed off to put Final Fantasy on. <laughs> you guys will roll your eyes at me, but I don't care. Starship Titanic. It was a specific... PC game written by Douglas Adams, who did Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Editor approves. And you're basically, it's like this luxury space cruiser called the Starship Titanic, okay. which, of course, what could go wrong? Right. Oh, you're, wait. You're going to hit up like Pluto because it's a frozen planet. <laughs> it is abandoned. You're trying to figure out what's going on in the ship. Okay. So I don't know if it's a full co op where you're trying to solve it, blah, right. blah, blah, but I just want all of the lore and the funny bits. Right. Okay. You know, and. So there's no hidden traitor thingy in this. No, 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 okay. no. Nope. Nope, it's almost like mist. I get you could see like a oh, mistish okay. kind of thing. Anyways, okay. Starship Titanic, love it. Okay, give it All to right. me. Give me <laughs> Douglas Adams doing stuff. Doing stuff. Okay. Okay, this Except is probably, he's dead, so he'd be a zombie now. This is probably <laughs> gonna happen eventually because it's so famous and because the company has the money to do it, um, and because it's Sony and Horizon Zero Dawn has become a board game. So The Last of Us. Oh, oh yeah. The best yeah. video game. The what's what I keep made. calling this war of mine. I keep calling The yeah. Last of Us. Last I of think, us yeah. yeah, I think because The Last of Us is the best video game it is ever made. Um, well, and no, it's, it's the best video game yeah. ever made. <laughs> and I want a board game. And honestly, my I don't number know one how, says otherwise. I don't know how this would. Uh, I don't know how this would go. So like, one person plays Joel. One person plays. Uh, uh, Joel, like Joel's brother, or or something, and one person plays uh, yeah. Ellie, and like so. Or one I don't person know. could play like the zombies or whatever. Sure. So this is one I genuinely don't know how I'd want to do this because I wouldn't want it to just feel like another horde mode game. That's not right. Last of Us. Right. Last of Us crafting is really important. Yeah. Uh, and, and sneaky survival is very important. So uh, I don't resource know. management. You know. Yeah. So I don't know how this one would work. It has a lot of mechanics that you'd have to work out. Like this would be a game that when you played it, if they did it right, I think. It wouldn't feel like anything else. It'd be like, oh yeah, this is the Last of Us, the board game. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, and I don't know how they would pull that off, but yeah, right. I'm just saying for being the best game <laughs> ever made. Mm -hmm. it, hey, wait, it deserves... this is your number four? Yes. How is it not number one then? Uh, because it's the best video game ever made. It's not necessarily the one I want to see made into Transform. a board game. The okay. Fastest, okay. Sure. okay. You know. Cool. All right, All right Bob. Uh, three. So number three. Uh, Eternal Darkness. Yeah, you played Eternal Darkness. Yep. I know. I it's been really a while. Enjoy that game. It, it kind of reminds me of like Cthulhu, right? So I was thinking maybe like a Death May Die type of thing, where right. there's different scenarios, but you would also be able to like travel through the past, like some of the scenarios are in the past, right. and things like that. Right. Um, you have like you know your sanity that you got to manage. Yep. Um, little exploration puzzles, stuff like there's that. There's a lot of yeah. You've yeah. got a lot of possibilities. Yeah. With that. I, was, like, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that game. It was on GameCube. Like yeah. way back in the day. Yeah. But it was a really good game. It's probably the best game on GameCube apart from Metroid Prime. Of sure. course. Yeah. <laughs> we were just, my brother yeah. and I were just talking about Metroid Prime 2 Echoes the oh, other yeah. day. Though. I was trying to think if I could make that into a board game. I was like, nah, Eternal Darkness, let's do yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, it would almost have to be like a um uh like a uh, we've played we've played so many games similar, like eight bit attack. Or, oh, you know what I'm something, saying? It have to yeah. be something like that. Sure, Boss sure. Monster. Yeah, Boss Monster. Okay. Yeah, something like no, that. Eternal Darkness. I think that'd be So good. I can't have Echo the Dolphin? Would I get shut oh, down for that? I would remember you Echo the Dolphin? If you really want to. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Delete it Just from the uh, video. Pour some water on the table and throw a fish on there. So, <laughs> so my, my number three is, was one of, is one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games. Oh, man. Now that I said that, I need to change this. I'm changing it. One of it. my favorite. Totally changing it. My favorite PlayStation game. No, I'm changing it on the spot. I oh. wrote I wrote down Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Okay. I absolutely loved that game because uh -huh. you were like you were like this noble going through the countryside and you get assassinated and then a vampire basically shows up and offers you a chance at revenge. Right. But you don't realize what that means. So basically then you become a vampire. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome because you could like wound dudes and then you stand and like suck the blood out of them and right. heal yourself. I remember um, that. Isn't that's the same thing that went into Soul Reaver, right? Uh Soul Reaver might have I thought same same concept. Same uh, series. series. That's why so that's further yeah. down the line. Yeah. Okay. But Blood Omen Legacy of Cain was the first one. Yep, I remember. But not my game. Okay. Now 
Change Do you guys remember or have you ever played on PlayStation Deception? It's no. just called or Tecmo's Deception. Uh -uh. So you're like this ghost in this big castle. Okay. And you've got all these rooms and these people are coming to this castle and you set up traps and you've got to get them to walk through the traps and you get points for like killing them in creative ways. So like you might have like a spike wall that come pops up uh -huh. and then like a big old like hammer that swings down from the ceiling. So if you can like swing that hammer down and then you launch them across and then you hit X to make right. the spike wall oh, got it. So pop it's like up. Physics based. Yes. That's like murder. Like physics yeah. based murder. <laughs> yes. And you're like sometimes that could be fun. That wouldn't be too bad. You're like luring them through, right? So you're like running backwards. Yeah. There's a lot of like running backwards. It's almost like a solo game. Trigger right? the trap. Yeah, but you could do it where like one person. I don't know how you would do it. I don't care. I don't care. Just Deception. make it. It would just, just make be, it. It would just make be it. Everyone's now. trying to make the best. Best right? trap. All have our own. Oh, okay, board. yeah. You right. don't have your own player board. Yeah. You're trying to. That would work. And yeah. you. And you're and almost like drafting. Rooms and how funny would it be if you like launch like a lot like board to somebody else? Somebody else's board <laughs> and steal like a trap or two. Boss monster, but not as goofy. Like darker. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But yeah, there's a and not whole just cards that. There's a whole run of tech mode deception. Games. But I had the first and second one, and I think that would make a better game than your other one. Legacy of Kane. I just wanted to be a vampire where you could upgrade and like kill people. Sure. Are do, they all called Legacy of Kane? Because I Blood swear Omen. the one I played was called Soul Reaver Legacy of Kane. Maybe. So no, I there was. I think there was a different one because there was like the first one was Soul Reaver, and then Soul Reaver Legacy of Kane was the next one. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. how it went. I because just, you said they had that like, concept, the and then next, remember that was I'm pretty sure that was the second one because that's when I got into it, and it had already been. Something before what Soul Reaver? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Blood Omen Legacy of Kane is the first me. one. Is it? It is the first one because you're Kane. Okay. okay. And it's all like Based it's how him. he gets started. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you start as like how he became a vampire and like walking sure. through all of it. But yeah, Tecmo's Deception, much better choice. Okay. <laughs> My other one sucked. This My one other was a much sucked. better choice. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I even try? <laughs> uh, so this one uh, is a little easy, almost. Like okay. I feel like the game would people. You're really relying on theme here, I guess is what I'm saying. This right. idea has been done a thousand times, but True. I really want Splinter Cell to be a game. I oh, love Splinter right Cell, and yep. I think the easiest way to do Splinter Cell is like Spectre Ops, right? It's, yeah, it's, something but, like that. But, Absolutely. But obviously in the world of Splinter Cell with more gadgets, and right. you know, yep. it's one guy with a bunch of gadgets he's using. Right. You've got I do the like camera, the gadgets are cool. and you've got all yeah, that stuff. Splinter Cell is awesome. Um, but the Splinter Cell universe is just incredible well-written. I mean, it's uh -huh. Tom Clancy, you yeah. know, and so it's super well-written and, and just so deep. So it's all just a tech manual is basically what it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what, if you ever, I've tried to read a Tom Clancy novel, and it is literally just. A tech manual. Yeah, sure, but I'm talking about his video games. Their their universes are yeah, yeah, yeah. always no great. Rainbow Six, you know? right? Yeah. All of them are good. Um, Ghost so, Recon. So yeah, Splinter Cell is going to be a bit um, not like redundant, but you know, it's it's going to feel I like would, other games. I would I want a Splinter Cell Specter Ops style game in my collection. Yeah. So yes, sure. I love the idea of you could even have a mode because they introduced this into games that was always really fun called uh, Spies versus Mercs. I think is what it's called, right? Yeah. Where it's like 4v4 then. Uh -huh. And the spies have to go and secretly do their objectives while the four Mercs are super powered and they're right. just trying to hunt down and kill hunt the spies. Down. That's so, what the Pandora's box they had that. Um, that was super fun. The um, You know what I'm talking about? The Splinter Cell of Pandora's box. The Splinter Cell is called Pandora's box? Yeah. No, I there, there was, one. Yeah. And. Um, they had an online version, and one one guy would play as Sam Fisher, and then everybody else would play as Mercs. And you're trying to sneak in, oh, or yeah. put your objective, and get out. And it was so cool because you could like grab the guys from behind, uh -huh. and then you would talk shit into their head. That, well, that's what you do in <laughs> Spies Mercs too, except oh, yeah. it's four v four, and you're not playing Sam, right? Okay. Like other spies, but yeah, it's, if you grab someone, you can interrogate them. And yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. That kind of thing, like awesome. your mic connect. Say, yeah, and then that's you the best. Good night, them, the and best then take off. Mechanics nice. ever, by the way. Yeah. Off topic, it was very cool. Only connecting your mic to the enemy when you grab them to interrogate. Say hello to your mother for me. Yes, right. See me coming. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I thought that was one of the coolest. You know, they the, do do that in the uh, the Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, you can I hear them when you're that close. When you're close, when you're Jason, oh, and, yeah. and you like start breaking stuff, and people are like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, yeah. Uh. But uh, Splinter Cell, just start at the beginning. Let's yeah. make a game series out of this. I, I can dig I, it. I, yeah. I, I I'm love in it. behind that. I'm in. Uh, all right, number two. My number two. Don't starve. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Great I know. Game. I've, I've okay. actually never played it, but Sarah watches the playthroughs all the time. Sure. And they're fun. Never heard right. It's um, a basic survival crafting game. Correct. Okay. And so it would be tile exploration, right? So as you're exploring new areas, you're flipping over new tiles and yep. learning new things. And then um, resource management, obviously, because you're only finding certain amounts of things and yep. you have to like stay warm, you have to sure. eat, stuff like that. 
Um, and then you have like as- as- uh, asymmetrical players, right? So depending on who you pick, like you're good at. Oh, my guy's good at making fires. I, you know, okay. my I guy's assume you would this. you would focus on don't starve together, right? Where you can have the multiple players Correct. with their powers together. Yes, yeah. nice. Yeah, but uh, see how long you can neat. survive. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. yeah you, you have to make sure to have fire at night, or else you instantly die. Yeah, um, and your sanity in. goes down whenever you see. So there's a sanity track you have uh-huh. to keep track of in the game. Nice. Yeah. yeah, don't starve is really for how like simple and cheap it is. Don't right. starve is a very good survival game. There's still a lot. Going on, right yeah, on. yeah, and I think that would, that, be a, that, that, that would translate well. Yeah, into no, a board definitely. Game. Yeah, so, yeah, the wormholes. Sarah was excited about that. Stuff. She's like, "I would play that." Yeah, <laughs> so anything I can get her to play, that's <laughs> right. <a win>. <laughs> <laughs> so make it. Yeah, <laughs> please. Yeah, All right. no, don't starve. Awesome. Yeah, my number two, I believe, was a Sega game. Okay, and it was impossible to get past like the second or third board for like ages and ages and ages. It was a side scroller. You could make it sort of like the TMNT Shadows of the Past. I think he has a guess already over there. Battletoads. Oh, oh okay. wow. Yeah, I played Battletoads. Yeah. I loved Battletoads. I just yeah. loved the goofy, like, frogs and yeah. toads. And you'd punch, boop, boop, and then your fist would get real big or yeah. your boot would get real big. Uh-huh. I don't know what Ride you do. Ride like the space speeders. Or yeah, that that's the board I could not beat. Really? you got to go, like, up and down. Yeah, like, we got to memorize And then you got to go thing. up and down? Whoa. What? <laughs> nope. On, on a 2D <laughs> screen, that's half of the options. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep track of half those options. There's so many of them. <laughs> 50%. So <it's> nearly half. <laughs> <laughs> that's almost half. Yeah. But it's Battletoads. Yeah, I, I, cool. I love that IP. Yeah. I'm actually I surprised there isn't something out there already because this yeah. is so famous. I guess it's just old. Yeah. So they haven't brought it up. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. And, it, and who knows who's got the rights to it now. Sure, it might be true. tough to get those. That's a good point. But yeah. I'm waiting for like something Battletoads. Well, I'll tell you, though, a video game just out. came out too long ago with like Battletoads in it. Like they're not playable or anything, but there's like a lot of like jokes about Battletoads and stuff yeah. in it. So obviously oh. they have the rights to right. use Somebody, that. Yeah, the likeness. Coming back. Cool. Coming back, Battletoads. <laughs> I'm calling my shot right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Battletoads. Battle toads. All right, toads number one. Battle. That was a finger point. Uh, not number one. That was uh, uh, my finger points. <laughs> well, if your finger's off the screen. We're on number two. No, number one. We're on number two. Number, number two. two. We're on number two. Are we? <laughs> yeah. Did you skip one because Bob said it already or something? We're on number two. You're on number two now. Are we? Yeah. You haven't said your number one, have you? No. Yeah. Oh, you went first. I went first. So you're number two. You're number two. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Matt, he, he just wow, kept looking at me. Back to that whole counting thing <laughs> from the game earlier. I just, just, I don't know. I was like, why do you keep saying number two? So the number big boy, two. the one that I've talked about in the past multiple times, the one that we are working on. Yeah. I was waiting. Uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah. Uh, we've talked about it a lot. Uh-huh. It's one of my favorite video games ever. I actually haven't played it a lot lately. I've been doing other stuff. But Dead by Daylight, 1v4. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's... The way that we have been imagining this kind of is you take that Specter Ops idea, right? But the four people are hiding. Oh. Okay? Yeah. So there's one hunter who's going around and using his special abilities to find four people who are all working together to complete objectives. Okay. Um, so the hunter knows where the objectives are. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah. And knows that the other players are going to be, they got to get to those places. Yeah. And everything you do in the game, uh, again, I may have, we've, we're making this up as we go, right? I'm saying everything you do in the game, like it's solid, but uh, yep. everything makes like sound yeah. and stuff. So right. the, the, that's how gives your position that's away. Kind of potentially, how yeah. Like, there's a lot of position giving away in our okay. current idea because it's 1v4. Right. So to kind of balance that out, he's going to always have an idea of where some people are, but you know, not their exact, exact location specifically. Sure, right. Okay. Um, but yeah, so just Dead by Daylight, where one person's a, a killer, a hunter, and there's four survivors working together to activate certain things on the map that then allow them to do a second objective and escape. And he's just, uh, his whole job is just find and kill these people, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, I just, Dead by Daylight, it's a fantastic video game. I think it would work super well in a board game, which is why we've actually been starting to work on the basics uh, for this game. We basically slide over our own IP with the inspiration. Correct. We should point out that we will obviously never make a Dead by Daylight board game because they own the rights. So we are kind of making a Dead by Daylight board game, but designing it, it, yeah, but designing it with a different theme and different mechanics, but that are all clearly based on something we care about. Yeah, right. Inspired by. So I thought about something similar to that with like a 4v1 type of thing, but with like ships uh you got one team who's doing like pickup and deliveries like think like pirates of the caribbean right uh-huh. and then you got pirate ships who are out there trying to hunt those oh, ships down yeah, but right you don't on. know where those pirate ships are at so sure. you're like trying to run and do things in deliveries and then at any time the pirate ship could come out and hit you. Yeah, yeah exactly okay. <laughs> and attack i can you. dig it i thought that would be kind of neat dig i can it. dig it but okay anyway so it's you're like done dirt. i can dig it oh boy oh, don't ruin We're it on. dead two. by daylight the board game the board game so my number one yeah is i don't want to say it's cheating it's kind of already a board game and a video game, but not this mix specifically. Final Fantasy. (laughs) Final Fantasy. (laughs) No. Uh, (laughs) Civilization. 
Okay. Right, right, but, but like, but like Civ Five or Civ Six. So they've got the Sid Meier version, which is which I enjoy because it has the tech trees and right. it has everything else, but it's squares. Right. And they have the newer Civilization that's hexes, but it's yes. a, a more streamlined version, which I do enjoy that one as well. Mm -hmm. But I want a techy, crunchy version with hexes. I gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Cake and eat it too. Exactly. Because if you have cake. You're gonna want to eat it. That's right. true. Why? Why would you get cake to not eat it without the intention? Yeah. of eating. I never understood that. In phrase. that case, the cake is a lie. <laughs> it basically. is. Makes no sense. Yeah. So that, that's that's my idea. I can I, dig I, it. I, yeah. I like it. I like it. I don't really have to talk about how it would translate because it's already been translated. All yeah, right. Exactly. You just want to <laughs> translate it slightly better. Correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So everybody, just brace yourselves for Dan's eye roll because okay. this because is, this is the best video game of all time. This is my favorite video yeah, game. Okay. Last it, of Us isn't just my favorite. It's the best game of all time. But you can talk about your favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Anyways, I'm going back to old school monochrome PC. Oregon Trail. No. Oh. Already a game of it, too. Already a game of it. <laughs> and actually a pretty highly regarded one. <laughs> really? I, I'm not saying people love okay. it, but like it Space matches invaders. the game is what I'm saying. It, but anyway. It does its job. Okay. It does its job. There was a series of games put out by a company called Infocom back in the 80s. They did games the like... <laughs> Leather Goddesses of Phobos and uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy oh, okay. Okay. and Zork. Okay. Text-based games. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So you want a board game of a text-based game? I do. Oh, let's play this game. I want a... No, <laughs> that I want was a, fun. <laughs> I want a board game in the Zork universe. Okay. Right? Because you're in Zork... You're you're again. You're like solving puzzles and okay. you're trying to figure out. And they, if it gets too dark and you're in a cave, a Gru might eat you. What's a Gru? It's a thing that lives it's in the dark. It's whatever the board game designer designs that makes it look like. If they do it right, you never see it. Oh, you're okay. never supposed to know okay. what a Gru looks like. Okay. It's okay. just horrible. There's always horrible. There's always weird it's like stuff. Cthulhu like stuff. That's why you like it. Yeah. There's always if weird you know stuff. What it looks like, just you're already dead. <laughs> right, but it's way too tongue in cheek sure. to to be Cthulhu. Right. But it's it's like uh, you start in the clearing in the woods. There's a small house with a mailbox, and so you type in open mailbox, and then you find a letter. You know, or oh, that's like old like. King's Quest One, kind of, yeah, yeah. kind of, yeah. You type north. There was still a visual, but yeah, you would type north or right, climb and then you tree. get a description. And after you've been there a few times, it will stop giving you the description. It'll right. just say the where you're at, and then you type in maximum verbosity, and it, and it gives you the all, whole script of the room. Yep, and, yeah. and then you've got inventory, so you got verbosity. it. You can pick up. This is pick what up and drop used stuff. To be. Yeah. Oh my you gosh! Guys are I did it spoiled too. nowadays. Dude, just, we used to funny. work so hard to play video games. There was a Hitchhiker, <laughs> the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy one is amazing. It's so good. It well, basically just takes you through the first book. It's in that IP. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's also like the Leather Goddesses of Phobos one is hilarious. <laughs> Don't know that one. Yeah. Yeah. There's like all these it's portals. It's like Amazon went on the moon. But yes. Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah. It is. And you're jumping through these portals and you different portals take you to different places and then you're trying to do different okay, things. Let's not talk about portals. There was one. Was it's like a wish? You go through the, you go through this city, and uh, you get an envelope with a stone, and you've got to get it back to the post office. But the problem is, when you get to the city, there's like a running clock, and basically, when it turns to like six p.m., the whole city transforms, and it's like all evil versions of everything, and mm. yeah, and like nightmarish stuff. So you got to get like a coin out of the fountain, but there's piranhas in the fountain, and. <laughs> It's so good, and that that one actually came with a stone, like a glow in the dark stone that it, you held in your hand, <laughs> it, you know, and you could make a wish. Right. And then that was the other thing is you got a wish, so you had to use your wish the right way to be able to win the game. Well, it was the '80s so too, so it was probably covered in a nice lead-based paint. Yeah, which you could just hold on to and let the rage fill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So Zork, a anything by Infocom. There was also a really good Mist, like okay. Stephen King's The Mist oh. version. You could okay. die real easy. Text base. Interesting number one. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. Did not see that coming. Did you're, not. You did, did not, not read that coming. That co I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I was like, oh, Dan's gonna hate this. Got to be number one. So I'm gonna pre I'm gonna start my number one with best game. No, I'm just kidding. Bob, do you have a PlayStation Four? Yeah. I hope neither of you guys have played this, and then after I talk about this, you guys play this together. I'm being very serious here. Okay. Oh, oh wait, what? you don't have a PlayStation Four. Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, I play. With I mean, you. we played Dead by Daylight. Have together. either of you guys played A Way Out? Nope. No. This is one of the best. This is the best oh, two-player oh. game ever made. Okay. So it is two-player only. The nice thing with this game is only one of you has to buy it. I think it's $20, but then you both get to play. He the invites game. you, and right. you just download the game and play with him. So really, you guys just split 10 bucks, right? right? Okay. And what this is, I literally can't talk too much about this, but you guys both, you start the game in prison, 
and you guys kind of come up together to break out of prison. Mm -hmm. You know, you break out of prison together at the beginning of the game, and then you're both on the run from the cops trying to get your lives back in order and figure out what's going on. Okay. That's all I will tell you about the game. I'm telling you, please, my brother and I played this game. A way out. A way out. My brother and I played this game together, not knowing what we were doing. Just this two-player only game. Let's play it together. We played over microphones, like, uh, you know, in different houses. So the game does a thing when you're on screen together. When you start walking apart, the screens kind of get smaller. And then, like, if he leaves your line of sight, you only see where you are now, and you don't know where he is. Gotcha. So then we don't talk about what we're each doing. Like he's each he's setting up something else in another room while I'm doing something in this room and we don't know what each other's doing. So then when we get back, we talk like, okay, like is it ready? Like what's going on? You know, like that kind of thing. So can you communicate if you're in different? You you technically can. Um, there are games nowadays that have it to where your mic kind of automatically shuts off. This right. game does not do that, but we just kind of agreed if we're not on the same screen together, we shouldn't know what's going on, right? Yeah. Sure. Like it just makes it more he intense. Yelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slowly back away from the microphone as you're walking yeah. away from each other. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there's just there's twists and turns, and what the reason I brought it up with my brother and I is because at the end of the game my brother was he cried because wow. the story was so good he uh-huh. was tearing up and he told me he was like I'm never going to forget this moment nice. like I'm telling you guys just please play this game it gives you to you choose which character you play as so choose which one you think fits your personality be better because you'll know you fit, fit the one that you think fits your personality better because you'll connect more with his motivations and okay. stuff. you know okay um but anyway so the board game a little repetitive here, but the, I genuinely think this would work in the same thing as that portal thing. This is a two-player game where you mm-hmm. get your characters at the beginning of the game, and we have objectives that we have to ac- know d- accomplish that we don't necessarily know about, but right. we just communicate. Listen, I got to get back to my house. I got to talk to and my. They're wife not or necessarily something. counterintuitive, right? Against yeah, each exactly. Other. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's not necessarily against each other, but we just can't exactly know what we're doing and, or why. Yeah, we're just telling each other. That it's, all, right. it's all trust and communication. And just, this is what we, we need to go here next. Let's do this. Let's plan each this out. Each character has their own separate deck, basically. Exactly. Nice. Right. And uh, so you know what you have to do, and sure. they know what they have to do. And um, so just this two player With a couple of common goals in between. Yeah, exactly. Well, right. So the. At the beginning, the first scenario, right? Get out of prison, right? Mm-hmm. You work together, but you might have different things. Okay, well, you're stronger, so you'll take the objective that has you go fight that guy and steal the wrench, when, you. you know, when there's no right. guards looking- around and that kind of thing. Right. But yeah, so this like, again, I I, I like so, like campaign scenario driven things. I right. think that's an amazing way to tell a story. And so this two player game relying on this trust that we have in each other with twists and turns. And maybe there are some cards that make you betray each other, but you might not get to those, right? You don't right. know what your your, your goals last one are going trip to be. your opponent or yeah, trip your other yeah. player yeah. while you get away from the cops. Yeah, yeah. So like, Sorry. <laughs> so like these hidden objectives that might even be too good, right? Like I might get this objective that's like, you know, okay, how close are you? Like I mean, there might be an honest or a trust track and something. And depending oh, on yeah. where we are on the trust track, okay, if, if if Bob's ever in trouble, I need to sa- I need to be willing to Put sacrifice willing my life yeah. to save him. Like that might be something, depending on how far we are on the trust track and stuff. Right. I just a way out is an emotional ball of amazingness for twenty dollars. Nice. That if you have a close friend or a so loved one, so you played one, it through once, or you yeah, done? you can't play it again. Okay, it, you know the story at that sure. point. What um, if you chose? Different characters. Uh, then you would do slightly different things, but the overall story is always going to be the same. same of that game. Okay. It is a it is a story One driven shot. game. Sure. Okay. Um, but it's yeah, it's emotionally just so impacting, and I genuinely think. It's the best two-player game I've ever played. How I, long do you play it all in just one sitting? Yeah, we played it in one sitting. It was probably four to five hours okay. or something. Can right? you pick up and go though? Like, yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, it has a save, and you just you just you'd have to play with the same person. Right. 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 But sure. uh, yes, pick up and go. Right on. Um, yeah, I uh, the main reason I'm bringing it up here is because while I do think it would just make an amazing game, I think this game needs way more recognition. It, it just kind of came out one day, and everyone who has played it has been like, "Wow, what a game!" But no one's heard of it. Sure. Yeah. So so I really want a way out. It's incredible. Check it out. I'm hoping it becomes this amazing two-player experience in board game form someday. Nice. Yeah. All right. That was my rant. <laughs> soapbox. You're off that soapbox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's everybody, right? Yep. That's, uh, that's, that's everything. Top. So my five. Maniac Mansion. Starship Titanic. Tecmo's Deception. Battletoads. Zork. Was that your 10, or were you just naming best games from over 100 years ago? That was my top five. <laughs> and they all are probably over 100 years. Yeah, I tried to go, like, way older sure. uh, games yeah, on purpose. I tried to do a mix and match. Uh, I did have Final Fantasy. Yeah. But Bob, Bob covered all that. And actually, I didn't even think of Final Fantasy Tactics. That's an amazing one. Yeah. There's so many. You could do that with decks. You could do that with minis. You could. Right. I mean, there's so many options mm-hmm. to do with Final Fantasy. Ooh, yeah, just like a card based one would be interesting too, because then you could like play it and like where you play it, like adjacent or flanking, right? Or things like that. Oh, like, sure. Be, yeah, uh, like a little cheaper way to get away from minis. Well, yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, mine, a were, lot you can do with it. mine were Portal, The Last of Us, Splinter Cell, Dead by Daylight, and A Way Out. And The Last of Us, Dead by Daylight, and A Way Out are all in my top five favorite video games of all time. Nice. Uh, Portal, I just think, hasn't been done justice yet. And Splinter Cell is just obvious. It would be an incredible hidden movement game. Sure. You know? And you could, I mean, the, 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 the bones of a game are already there. Right. Yeah, you exactly. Just, you, you just you just fit, you just dump the theme into it. You make the gadgets right. matter. You make third echelon. You right, know, a right. thing in it. You you yeah. know, uh, maybe Sam has to communicate with um. Oh crap! I can't forget his name right now. What's the boss's name? He has such a cool name. I don't remember. But, the uh, boss. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> boss. But maybe you have to communicate with him, and uh, you know, yeah. It's, right on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I did a uh, Final Fantasy. Yep. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Yep. I love it. Eternal Darkness. Yep. Don't starve. And Civilization Five slash Six. Give me, yeah, give me yeah. the crunchy. Yeah, give me, a, give me a crunchy hex civ game. Don't starve. Our art style begs for board. Yeah, I, yeah. I, as, as I say, I was because I, I know Sarah enjoys Don't Starve so yeah. much. I'm gonna, have to, the, the I'm gonna have to look at that. That yeah. sounds great. It, it is fun. Like the guys, like hair that it's, he yeah, uses. It's a lot like, of the like, time. like no talking. Like it's very old timey feeling. Like it's yeah, like no like, talking and like he just like sways the artwork. Like, yeah, the sound effects are funny. Like when he's thinking and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. So. so wait, you mean that sounds pretty current to all of so my anyways, games? But it has, <laughs> um, oh, it has graphics? <laughs> yeah, it has graphics. I mean, mine it's was a... Size just text. Yeah, monochrome. Yeah. Hey, my games will also have text in them. It's just a lot sure. of the fun parts, too. Oh. So <laughs> we've been the board game rundown. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Tim. I've been Bob. I've been Dan. We've been the board game rundown. Be sure to find us on Game Talk Network. Yes. Uh, Look us up at the Meeple Game Society. Yes. Like, subscribe, ring the bell Check on our YouTube channel. Keep an eye out for our first playthrough of Oh yeah, Board, board game, game Roulette. Board Game Roulette oh, is yeah. coming. Watch for the trailer yeah. and the first episode. First episode where we have a winner and a bunch of losers. Losers. Uh, also, be sure to check out our friends at the Board Game Mechanics. Yeah. We've got a nice little rivalry going yeah. with them, and I think we're going to continue to have some fun with them. There's some weird hacking going on. Yeah, interesting. So, yeah, reach out, check us out, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.